You don't hear the term burlesque dancers too much these days, but back in the 50s, 60s, even the 70s, Tempest Storm commanded a lot of attention. She was born in Eastman, but left home to pursue Hollywood dreams at the age of 14. She died this week in Las Vegas, and as Suzanne Lawler shows you, even though she led a racy life, the small town in Dodge County remembers her fondly. This is Main Street in downtown Eastman. Talk of the town this week is the passing of Tempest Storm. She died in Las Vegas at the age of 93. Quite a colorful character. By her own account, she dated Elvis Presley and JFK. We chatted with her family, and they said she was always a classy lady. Somebody called me and said, we have just found out the guy you're dating is Tempest Storm's brother. I said, oh, no, that can't be because I've heard legends of her my whole life. Charlotte Miller went on to marry that guy, Leonard Miller, who indeed was Tempest Storm's brother. Charlotte says through the years, people would ask her about her most famous relative, the racy woman who dated celebrities in Hollywood and carved a name for herself in burlesque. But she had some good friends, Gary Marshall, Mickey Rooney, all of those guys. She was an A-lister, but the woman whose real name was Annie Blanche Banks never liked to kiss and tell, even when Telegraph columnist Bill Boyd wrote a book about her life in the 80s. She would have made more money on the book if she had done a tale all. Well, maybe, but if you ask folks in Eastman, well, she was unforgettable. She was a movie star. <laughs> all I remember the most is this mixed stole that she had sent her mother and that uh, her stepfather wouldn't let her, you know, her mother wear it. You know, I would say that people were very proud of her um, this day and age because of her fame. And for a conservative town like Eastman, Georgia, well, burlesque dancing may have seemed like light years away. Charlotte says Tempest had a definition for it. You tease. You do not show everything. Well, maybe that was the magic of Tempest Storm, a woman who stretched her small town reality into a big colorful world of dancing, living on the edge, and yet still appreciating her hometown roots. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Tempest fell in April and broke her hip. That eventually led to her death. When that happened, the New York Times, the Washington Post, and people all over wrote articles about her this week. We've put more web extras online, including more of Suzanne's conversation with Charlotte Miller.